hit your five fingers up when you hear Doxy. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning, everybody. You know what time it is. It's, it's time to get your sweet tea with Dr. With C. Dr. C. I just hope that everyone is having a wonderful mm. time. Did we have a good weekend? Absolutely. We had a great weekend. We had a great weekend. Great it was weekend. nice. It was great. We had a great football game at Northwest versus Southeast. Southeast had to take one on the chin, but they gave a Herculean fight. All right. I mean, our football teams are just doing dynamite work. We have so much to talk about today. We have children, our, our, our five-star scholars from Scotland Neck. But first, during our community tour, our business tour. All right. As you can see, I'm surrounded by all this produce. Fresh Look produce. at all this fresh produce. Isn't it, yes. Dr. Battle? Yes, it is. Healthy for you. Because we're over here at Food Lion in Scotland Neck, everybody. Can you believe that? Food Lion in Scotland Neck. And this is a wonderful business led by the manager, Mr. Chad Thomas. How you doing, Chad? Hey, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Everything going all right? Going good. Chad, how did it feel when I told you I wanted to bring sweet tea to Food Lion? It felt great. It, it felt great? Now, tell us a little bit about yourself, Chad. Um, I've been in Scotland Neck for three years, uh, February, May 4th. Um, oh, great. We've done a lot of work here in uh, Scotland Neck, getting deep in the community and, and building relationships. Yeah. Yeah, because Thanks. when we hired uh, Mr. Uh, Eustace a while ago, he was always raving about the partnership <laughs> here at Food Lion. Yes. So tell us a little bit about your support for Scotland Neck. Uh, we've done a lot with uh, Scotland Neck Elementary. Uh, me and Mr. Eustace teamed up when he first got here. Uh, I had been here about a year. Uh, actually just stepped into the store manager role. Um, he came to me and wanted to know what kind of opportunities we had and what kind of partnerships we could form. Uh, since we've done that, we've done two food drives uh, with the school. We've done a book bag giveaway uh, and fed the community then. Um, we've done a uh, store tour where we had the entire Scotland Lake Elementary School uh, and some parents that toured the school, or I'm sorry, uh, toured the store in mm -hmm. a day. Um, we got a lot going on. There's just a lot going on. It'd be just a tremendous <laughs> amount of work that's just going on, and we appreciate you so, so much. Now, this, you know, we always want our kids to know about careers and career opportunities. That's right. Talk a little bit about your career leading to Food Lion and, and being the store manager. So I actually started Food Lion in 2003 as a bagger. Um, I worked my way up through the ranks. Uh, I did leave Food Lion for a couple of years, but obviously it's such a great company, I'm back. Yeah. I don't have any, <laughs> any intentions on going anywhere else. Um, like I said, I've, I've worked my way up through the ranks. It's a great company to work for, awesome benefits. Uh, the, it's a company that actually cares about their people. And did you say you started off as a bagger? I did. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, Dr. C, Food Line actually practices retention just like Halifax County They sure Schools. do. They, do. So they, they sure do. Retention they strategy. Do. They sure do. <laughs> so you started off as a bagger, mm -hmm. and then what was your next job? Uh, I was a part-time office associate. Office associate. Yes, sir. And then you ranks. see incremental growth. Mm -hmm. Kids, you start with A, but you don't finish at A. You finish all the way up to the top. And we want all our kids to know that you can be like Chad as well. That's right. So after you started out as a bagger, you moved into an office associate, and then? Assistant customer service manager, and then a customer service manager, which is responsible for the front end operations. The whole right. front end. The whole front end the operations. The entire front end, including this produce department. Partly, yes. Sir. Yeah, mm, yeah. And it's good. Yeah, and, 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 and tell us about produce and all this, and, and Food Lion's commitment to local growers. So we do have a, a huge partnership with local farms. Um, Food Line believes in local, and local is an important part of our community. Uh, we partner with Fresh Point to uh, bring fresh uh, local produce to our stores. Um, but that's actually in all of our stores here in our, our region. Um, we partner with uh, Fresh Point. We partner with uh, Cottle Farms, different area farmers. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's what's so wonderful about Food Line parents, I mean, community. I mean, because they're working with us to make us better. They're working with us to make us better. And that is why we're out here to support Food Lion because there are just so many opportunities for our children. Can a man, you still hiring baggers? I do. What? <laughs> that job's still here? Partly. It's what does changed it take? a little bit. What does, what, how has it changed? <laughs> um, we, so we actually done away with the bagger position and we have a customer lead, which really stepped up the game for baggers. Um, the customer lead is not known as a bagger anymore. However, they do still bag groceries and, and get carts, but it's so much more connecting with customers and having that personal relationship with customers. And what are some mm. of the soft skills that a, a, a student needs to come and work for you, Chad? 
Dedication and hard work. Dedication, <laughs> hard work. Dedication, dedication and hard work. Dedication and hard work. We teach can that. See, can go a long <laughs> way. Dedication and hard work can go a long way. And that, right. those are two of the skills here. And so we have here joining with us the principal of All Scotland right. Neck, Mr. Benjamin Eustace. Eustace. How's it going, Ben? It's going great. Going great. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Second time on the, on the Sweet Tea. Yeah. So excited. Um, I had to write everything down that we've been doing just so I try not to cut anything out. Um, but, but yeah, feeling So, so feeling talk good. about your relationship with Chad and, and how you've nurtured it and, 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 and making it work for Halifax County Schools. Yeah, so, so yeah, it is by far the strongest partnership we have um, as a school besides the central office support. All right. <laughs> Play a game for the um, office. But we have been, yeah, since, since I got up here, I think I was only here couple months and came up and, and talked with with Chad about starting this partnership yeah. and ever since then we have just been like he said we've been rolling um, just whether it's just the little things when he has leftovers or things that they don't get rid of during their sale times mm -hmm. um, we're the first place he brings it so as far as that goes we've gotten stuff for the PBIS event room we've Great. gotten stuff for food giveaways we've gotten just just things that some of the staff can even use um, I know last last donation he had um, several ice bags in right to the nurse right right to the That's nurse so right. so just um, it has been great he now picked up where he is sponsoring our employee of the month oh, good. Um, and sponsoring them with a food line gift card so starting to really get <clears throat> a reminder of the the staff just how close we are with food line um so shout out to miss rose williams she was our employee of the month shout our pre-k teacher yeah i know yeah. yep and that was for being charitable for the month of november so fits right in with with everything going on here at food line like you said the book bag giveaways we had um food line we had ventosa um several churches and then Scotland Neck PD was also in on that this this past summer so start with that book bag giveaway yeah. when did that happen <laughs> so that many was, was and how many oh, yeah. you know and how did the kids you know tell me all about it Ben <laughs> Chad <laughs> talk about <laughs> it this was more a uh, a community thing that that Chad and officer uh, Marcus Morris from Scotland Neck PD okay those Shout two to Neck you know PD. bounced that around and and they brought me in on it yeah um, and the only thing we really did was um, cleaned out a lot of pieces and parts of the school this year and we got some leftover books that were just collecting dust so I said you know could we partner that up and, and yeah. put some of these in the book bags and and that was uh that was our donation but I'll let Chad talk a little Chad. more on talk some on more that. about yeah Chad so that was actually an idea that was thrown together in about two weeks uh, okay. we had a bright idea of making that happen <laughs> Uh, I pulled my staff together here, uh, and, uh, and Marcus Morris from the police department, and I was like, hey, this is what we want to do. Uh, and we really got the ball rolling to make that happen. It took a, a lot of uh, community support and uh, networking to make that happen. Uh, we had about 150 book bags. Yeah, 150. About, 100, about 150 book bags that we give away. It was loaded with school supplies. Uh, from notebooks to paper to pens, pencils, everything, uh, to help the kids uh, get, get ready for school. Uh, starting back, I think it was the week after the event. Yes, hey. yeah, about a week, week and a half before yep. school was starting. Yep. I mean, and then and then after the book bag, you moved. You, you listed a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So, oh yeah, what were oh, the yeah. other field so, trips? If field so, trips. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got was, our our field trip from last nights. year. Was the students seemed to love it, so we are doing that again. Where did you go? This coming Friday. You came here? here? Oh, yeah. you, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, brought here. kids to so Food Lion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So tell me a little bit about this field trip to Food Lion. <laughs> so we did um, we did a couple grades partnered together, and we just did a did a morning field trip. They were here for maybe about 45 minutes each each group. Um, went around and visited the, the various parts of the store, the freezer. The, that was the coolest thing for the kids. The freezer was just like... Mr. Hughes, did you go on the freezer? <laughs> yes, I went on the freezer. <laughs> I was there with you. I was looking at you in the freezer. Um, but yeah, the kids kids loved it. So we are doing it again this uh, this coming Friday. Oh, the okay. Fifteenth, we'll be back. So, all great. Not not this. Yeah, the coming. Yeah. The coming 
Friday. Which nope. grade levels? All grade levels? All grade levels. All yes, grade man. level comes yep. in. Pre-K all the way through fifth. Okay. Right. <laughs> right. So, Chad, do you give them a list of things to look for? You know, like the glass aisle, <laughs> the, the bakery now. <laughs> we don't. We, uh, we split them up between all of our, our different departments. So we have a, fr a station for front end. We have a station for produce. We have a station for meat department, uh, the back room, which would be our dry grocery. They'll get to tour all the different parts of the store. So they'll get to see where the trucks come in and how yep. product gets unloaded. They'll get to see how it's down stacked in departments, how stuff is stored in coolers or freezers. Mm, see the whole um, chain. They get to talk about the front end and how the cash registers work and you know the, the processes of what cashiers go through. Knowing that's an entry level position that you know they could possibly move into very soon. Yeah, I mean that's exactly what we want all our children to know, is that you start. And your finish are two different points. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Two different points in life. Right. And we believe in Halifax County that you have to crawl before you can walk. That's right. Yeah. And, and you have to walk there. before you can run. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know? That's right. And there's nothing wrong with that. Am I right, Chad? Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that, That's Mr. Right. Houston? That's right. There's nothing wrong with that. And so we have proud sponsorships like that with Food Lion mm -hmm. that have embraced the incremental growth philosophy by saying, come on and grow with us. Come on and grow with us. That's right. Chad. The commitment for Food Lion is just, it's, it's big. It is. It's big. Where does it come from? Is it part of your mission? Is it part of your corporate values? It is part of our mission. So uh, Food Lion, we have, we, we have deep roots in our community. You know, our corporate office is in Salisbury, uh, and we want to be grounded in, in the towns and cities that we serve every day. Um, so knowing that your local food line is your local food line, we want to be part of your family just like you're part of ours coming in our store every single day. Yeah, and that is evident. Isn't what, that evident? That is. is. So it what, is. Is, what do your parents say about the partnership that you created with the school system and especially with Scotland? Net? How do your parents feel about it? They think it's awesome. My mom is actually a school teacher in oh. Rocky Mount. Uh, okay. she's, she's retired now, but uh, she was a, a special ed uh, in Nash Rocky Mount schools. Okay. Uh, she thinks it's absolutely amazing, and uh, we actually have my son out. We have Ben's yep. kids come yep. uh, back at the book bag giveaway. So our families attend some events also. Good, good. Yep. All right, I mean, this is just outstanding. Mr. Eustace, you want to add? Yeah, um, uh, let's just go over a couple more things because we got something big coming on the 22nd, which okay. is a half day for students. That's big. Like it's coming in the 22nd. <laughs> but we are going to, we always have done the last couple of years these turkey giveaways. Uh -huh. um, so Chad and I have talked about partnering up with the turkey giveaway and then we're putting in a request to get some, some food giveaways on that day. I'm doing parent. Uh, we're doing parent conferences that day, so it should just be a big come out to the school. Family engagement. It's the Friday yeah. before Thanksgiving. We're, we're giving away some, some free goodies. So um, I need you to do something for me right now, Mr. <laughs> Eustace, yes, wrap sir. up this first set. Which camera does he need to look into? <laughs> look in that camera, and you tell everybody out here in the community what's getting ready to happen. Look at that Black camera, and you tell them about line. the flat. November 22nd, this right we here. have a half day and the afternoon will be for parent conferences, turkey giveaway, and food line donation giveaway. So make yourself down at Scotland Neck Elementary Leadership Academy. You heard it first, breaking news, sweet tea <laughs> with Dr. C. That's you heard right. the Eustace Thomas plan. You yeah, heard Black it first Friday. right here on Black Friday. You need That's to right show up at Scotland Neck. Have a great time with Food Lion, our committed partner. We're having a ball here in the produce section over here in Food Lion. Get your sweet tea out. Come by and see Chad today. And when you see Chad today, give him a pat on the back and say thank you for your support for Halifax County Schools. Visit the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center where we teach clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. See what fun things we have to offer at the Center for Energy Education.
on top of it before they do. About every 30 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes about five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchor.gov. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. It's really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? You don't know why. Operation Wonder Park is a go! There's nothing more powerful than imagination. But don't just imagine. Use STEM to change the world. Who's with me? Oh, gonna hurt tomorrow. If she can stem, so can you. Find out more at She Can Stem. Tradition, leadership, community. Serving over 3,000 student athletes hailing from historically black colleges and universities, we are the CIAA. Established in 1912, the first African American collegiate conference in the U.S., the third highest ranked NCAA basketball tournament in the nation. It's more than a game. Each year we raise over $1.5 million to support our athletes and impact our community. That's the CIAA tradition. Come live the legacy. Welcome back to our next segment of Sweet Tea with, with Dr. Dr. Sweet. Sweet. Get your toasted out. We're toasting <laughs> it with the tea for our second right. segment. And we're here to talk to you mm. today on remote location over here in Food Lion in, in Scotland. Scotland. Nick. And it, yes. how does it feel to be over here at Food it Lion? It feels really, really good, it Dr. Good? Sweet. It does, especially we're surrounded with this fresh fruit and knowing that one of our goals is health and wellness. Yes, one that's of our, a good thing. Absolutely. <laughs> I almost just want to grab one, you know, get one of these <laughs> delicious apples, you know what I mean, and just enjoy it because we're just so grateful to be, have an opportunity to highlight all of our sponsors. Right. First segment you heard from Mr. Thomas who talked to you about all of the wonderful opportunities here working at Food Lion, but how Food Lion has invested into the community here at Scotland Neck in general, but also has, and you know, in Halifax County as a whole. That's because right. when Scotland Neck benefits, Halifax County right. benefits. Am Absolutely. I right? Absolutely. Am I right? Now, this segment we want to talk to you about you know, you might be saying, Dr. C, why are you in the produce section over here at Food Lion? Because you know something? Tell me. We have started <laughs> our own farm. That's right. You know, our goal here has been to teach our children all of the workforce opportunities, right, that's Dr. Right. Battle? That's, that's right. Teaching how to fish to them. for themselves. Teaching them how to fish for themselves so they'll never be hungry. And we want all of our children to know that they can embrace the agricultural industry as well. Am I right, Dr. Battle? Absolutely, Dr. So we have in our midst the living legend, Mr. Ag himself, Mr. Reginald Cotton. Reginald How you Cotton. doing, Mr. Cotton? Doing fine. You doing all right? <laughs> He's a laid back farm manager. He, but, he, but, he, but when you see him out on that farm, He's all a about different business. man. He's all about He's business. He's a different man. He'll talk to you. He'll, he'll hang out with you. But most of all, he teaches children about the importance of taking care of the earth so it continues to produce such That's great right. fruit that That's we right. need to do about it. Mr. Cotton, how you doing? Doing fine. You doing all right? Happy to be here. Yeah, I'm happy to have you. And beside you, you have Mr. Julian. McClinney. McClinney. How's it going, Julian? It's going well today, sir. You doing all right? Doing great. Put the mic up at your mouth, no, Julian. doing great today. He's doing, doing great all right. Today. He's holding it like a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Rap with this fruit. Yeah, he's gonna rap, this he's gonna wrap up with this fruit, you yeah, know what right. I'm saying? That's right, that's right. So, so we have a farm. So, Mr. Cotton, tell us a little bit about Greenleaf Farms. Well, uh, Greenleaf Farm got started <clears throat> about three years ago. Uh, it's a student-led, student-operated um, company, mm -hmm. business. Um, the 
FFA, Halifax County Schools, the FFA, gives leadership to it. Um, we are trying to be a self-sustainable and a profitable uh, business within Halifax County Schools. And so when you say FFA, Mr. Cotton, you mean the Future Farmers of America? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely, That's absolutely. Right. That's right. Because one of our goals is to create new revenue streams. Absolutely. And if we're going to be serious about the work of educating our children, we have to be innovative. Right. Our superintendent, remember back uh, last uh, two years ago, our superintendent, Mr. Mark Johnson, came out uh, with this article about being urgent. Mm -hmm. Innovative and ownership. And ownership. That's right. Own it. And we sent that out to all of us. And when and, and we challenged each other, how can we be innovative? That's right. In Halifax County Schools and leverage our strengths. Our strengths. And one of our strengths are, are the open landscapes and our commitment to agriculture. And what we wanted to do was leverage that passion that we have for agriculture right. to teach kids how to embrace it and how to make it work for them. Absolutely. And that it was the genesis for, Halle, for, for Green Leaf Farm. And so we met, we met Mr. Cotton had already started out there, didn't you, Mr. Cotton, at yes, Enfield? Sir. And when you started, how many acres did you have? Two acres, sir. Yeah, two, two acres. acres. And how many do you have now? We have nine. You have nine. Come so Mr. we've gone from two <laughs> to nine in how many years? Three years. Two to nine. <laughs> In three years. You know what we call that? Incremental growth. Incremental growth. growth. Give me That's five. Incremental economy. growth. <laughs> step by step. We didn't just jump the nine. We grew the nine. That's right. And that's what we want all of our parents to know. We grow every day. All we're asking is that we're better than we were yesterday. That's right. Yes, sir. So we have Green Relief Farm today. And, and, and tell me a little bit about what you're offering today. At the present time, sir, we have... Um, Cabbage collards, we put out 20,000 this fall, and they're ready. Um, kale, mustard, and turnip salad. We do have cabbage and broccoli in the field. That should be ready in about three weeks. Hmm. And so um, that's what we have as of now. All right. And, and Julian, tag team and help Mr. Cotton. Oh, yeah. Most definitely. So I've had the pleasure of working with Mr. Cotton over the past few months uh, since I've been here in Halifax County Schools. Um, it's been a great time. It's been a great pleasure. I'm here. I'm also responsible for making sure that, you know, a lot of these things are profitable and that we're making uh, money for the school, actually, to put back into the school system. Um, and I think we have a really unique opportunity here to enrich the lives of, of a lot of these kids uh, in teaching them uh, age-old farm practices, which have really helped um, revitalize a lot of these kids and revitalize the community. So watching it and just being a part of it is great, most definitely. Um, We've got a lot of interest from a lot of people uh, in other counties who are interested in having fresh produce in their schools, uh, and so we've been uh, we've been making a lot of progress towards that. But was, but we've also opened up uh, purchasing to uh, the community. Uh, Talk to us about that. Talk to us. Yeah. <clears throat> so How will the community release it? <laughs> release. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what we want to do is we want to make uh, we want to make fresh produce affordable to everybody and accessible to everybody so that's what we've done here and um, if you look at our pricing it's very competitive uh, we have some some more information coming out with that soon but right now we're doing CSA boxes which are an assortment of um, different plants and vegetables uh, for only twenty dollars but you can also buy them by the head if you prefer that and we're doing that for about a dollar ninety nine and we can compete with anybody um, pretty much on those prices so come check us out down there at Halifax County Farms. Yeah, just come check us out. Now why are we doing this? We're doing this to teach our children how to be workforce ready so they'll be prepared to work for Chad at any place that he needs. From a bagger to a customer service to in the produce. Our kids will be familiar with the entire supply chain. That's Am right. I right? That's right? And as you heard from Mr. Thomas earlier, there are several opportunities in big companies like Food Lion right here, at sir. different points. That's right. This Greenleaf Farm is nothing but practice. It's practice. Am I right, Mr. Cotton? Yes, sir. How hard are the kids practicing? They're practicing hard, sir. At, at the present time, we have about 15 that are on payroll wow. working for the farm. And they're enjoying it, and, and they're enjoying um, the check. They enjoying the check? Yes, sir. They making a little money? Yes, sir. And that's why we are selling the boxes. 
See, the money doesn't come, when we talk about the money being a profitable, the money helps us educate the children. Am I right, Dr. Battle? That's right. We're employing our kids so that they can work, receive a little money, and understand what it takes to be a contributing member of, of, of our society. That's all we're doing. Mr. Cotton, what are some of the skills that they're learning out there with you? Well, first, uh, to begin with, uh, Dr. Cunningham, they're learning the responsibility of making themselves available and ready to come to work at a specific time. Every day. Um, just your regular um, employability skills, mm -hmm. being able to um, stay focused on the job and to do a good job, um, to dress appropriately, to communicate, to be able to use the hands, um, to do whatever it is we're doing uh, according to the requirements we have. We have a lot of requirements because we see it um, GAP certified, so it's, it's a particular way that it has to be done. They've all been trained. Um, we're involved in marketing as well. Students um, go on the street with us because right. we, we do re retail and wholesale along with CSA, so we sell several different ways. Uh, but they go out on the street and we sell it to the customers. They're involved in counting the money, uh, receiving money. Uh, so the finance process. Right, so you see now, you see that customer service rep? Remember that job that Mr. Thomas said he needs sometimes? That's see, right. He, they're practicing. With Mr. <laughs> with Mr. Cotton. That's right. You, you see? And you and know, Mr. Mr. Thomas <laughs> talked about dedication, Dr. Cunningham. Dedication. And, and Mr. Cotton just described the characteristics that those students exhibit. So we have those students right in alignment so they can enter that workforce right here at Food Line, Mr. Thomas. Right so we're here, them for practicing you. every <laughs> single day. So yes. you don't need any employees outside of Halifax. You just That's can right. reach in our pool of candidates to fill your jobs because yes. we're practicing every single day. Julian, what's your plan for marketing Greenleaf Farm? So here recently we've been, uh, we've definitely up production on a lot of marketing materials. Uh, we're going harder than we've ever gone before. Uh, things have definitely ramped up since I got here at home. So what we're doing is we're making flyers. We've got a new Twitter page. Uh, the Twitter page is going crazy right now. What's the name of the Twitter page? It's Halifax County Farms, a Greenleaf Farm, a Lighthouse Initiative. It's kind of a long name, but you'll find it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just go to the website. <laughs> Just go to the website. Yeah, we're pretty, we're pretty much we're pretty much linked in with everything right now. So um, yeah, every, everything's been going great as far as marketing. I can yeah. definitely say that. Um, Real quick, I also just wanted to speak on behalf of the nutrition department um, and encourage, you know, any parents watching, um, encourage your kids to eat, encourage your kids to come through the line because that's really how we uh, get funding and that reimbursement is how we get more quality food. So if you want to see more quality food in your cafeterias for your kids, make sure to encourage your kids to participate. Participation is super important for us. So, you know, make sure they get through that line and we appreciate you. All kids must eat. That's right. All kids must eat. We offer free breakfast and free lunch every single day and free to dinner. every single child. And, yeah. and, and, and dinner. Yeah. Parents, we understand that it may not be what you are serving at home. I miss my mama cooking. <laughs> it's not the same, but it's, it's still, not the same. But it's still healthy I sure for do you. miss my granny's cooking too. But what we offer in school holds them till they get back to you. Breakfast, lunch, breakfast and, and lunch. today dinner because we have after school starting after today. School. And so our students will get breakfast, lunch, and dinner all free. All free yes. to keep the body strong, to keep the yes. mind you know, full so they, can, so they can learn. So parents, please encourage your kids to eat. We're now out here at Food Lion. I want everybody out here in Scotland Neck to come by and say hello to Chad and his wonderful team out here at Food Lion. I am just having a great day. Yes. Get your sweet tea out and spend a little time talking about Halifax County Schools. This is the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities, ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center where we teach clean energy, 
clean earth and healthy living. See what fun things we have to offer at the Center for Energy Education. Get on top of it before they do. About every 30 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes about five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchor.gov. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? You don't Wonder Park is a go! There's nothing more powerful than imagination. But don't just imagine. Use STEM to change the world. Who's with me? It's gonna hurt tomorrow. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Tradition, leadership, community. Serving over 3,000 student athletes hailing from historically black colleges and universities, we are the CIAA. Established in 1912, the first African American collegiate conference in the U.S., the third highest ranked NCAA basketball tournament in the nation. It's more than a game. Each year we raise over $1.5 million to support our athletes and impact our community. That's the CIAA tradition. Come live the legacy. Welcome back to our next segment of Sweet welcome, welcome, welcome. with Dr. C. Now, uh, Dr. Battle, when is yes. that new Black Friday that we just, that breaking news? The breaking news, Food Line has their own version of Black Friday. It is November 22nd, so parents, we are going to partner with the school system, specifically Scott Lynette, and we will have parents to come out for their parent conferences, and we'll be giving away turkey items and other things for Thanksgiving. That's right. I want I want Mr. Eustace to see a line outside the door. Black Friday. The world. <laughs> you know, trying to get in this building to talk to him and see Chad. Why that's not right. come out and support our school system that that's way? Right. Right? right? Why not? And that's why we're here to talk about our next segment because that's what we're talking about, parents' participation. But this is a special treat, Dr. Matt. That's right. We now have Jamisha Smith. How you doing, Jamisha? I'm doing great. You doing all right, Miss yes. Smith? Yes. You doing all right? Yes. And I want y'all to see how alignment works, that's right? right? Sure. Because Jamisha actually works where? At Food Line. Right. At Food Line. Scholar <laughs> <laughs> that, that, you know, that's just awesome, you know, to be able to see the opportunities that are available here in the county. Right in the community. How long have you been working for Food Line? Ten years. Ten, Ten years. That's yes. a decade. That's a decade. <laughs> that's a full decade. Right. And what is your position? A front end office assistant. Front end office assistant. Yes. And how do you like it? I love it. What? <laughs> You love it? I love it. You love it? Yes. All right. <laughs> now, so, so I want you to see the opportunities that are here in, 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 in Scotland now. Because, because she's working local, mm -hmm. right? Yes. That allows you to do what for your lovely daughter? Be able to be active in her school life. Be Good. active in her school life. Yes. Absolutely. You see what I'm saying? Parent involvement. And, and, so and tell important. me a little bit about, introduce your beautiful daughter. Well, this is Jemiah <laughs> Smith. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> good morning, Jemiah. She's doing, 10. She's, she's in the fifth grade she's, at Scholar Neck 
That's right. Elementary Leadership Academy. Mm -hmm. All right. And we get our five fingers up. Oh. Right? Yes. And, 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 and tell me what strive for five means for you, to you. Look right in that camera and you tell them. It means, for me, it means to always. Speak from your heart. Try your best. That's right. That's right. Try to make a five on your EOG. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. Always do your best. Now tell yeah. me how you're doing your how how are you doing your best every day in school? How are you doing your best every day in school? By listening to the teacher and practice and just keep practicing. Practice. Yes. Practice. 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 Yes. Practice. And tell me some things that you're learning. Some things that I'm learning is like schoolwork. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, um, <laughs> some things that I'm learning, well, we already learned it, is decimals, Ooh, which is kind of hard, but it's really not that hard. <laughs> you need to learn to use your decimals, especially in the produce department. <laughs> you, you see, cause like, right, $1.99. You That's see, right. Chad don't want you charging $199. <laughs> right, Chad? You need to know what that decimal point means. That can make a big difference. <laughs> Am I right? Yes. Now, Miss Smith, yes. you are an active parent at Scotland. In what ways? Um, Like all her events, I try to attend them. Um, I go out to the school for like PTA meetings. Um, I'm engaged in like the classrooms when like the teachers need help or like when they have like celebrations, I donate. Um, just all around. I just does, all around? Yeah, whatever Doesn't it needs. Where you out? At times, because there's two of them. Right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, at times, but it's fine. Parenting's hard, isn't it? It is. Parenting is just <laughs> it hard. It is, yeah. It's not, I mean, it's just, it's hard. It's hard on all of us who are parents, right. but you do it. But why do you do it? Because this my motivation. This my loved one. That's, that's, that's right. Yep, Dude, yep, that's your investment yep, into yep. the future. Yes. And because of your investment, in what ways have you seen it benefit her? Um. Well. Hmm. Honestly, I see her like she try. Yeah. She makes sure she tries. You know what I'm saying? Um. She looked forward to me making a living for her, you know, stuff like that. She just all around, she's all around just great. Yeah. Yeah. She, yeah. I see the she pays attention. Yeah. Look at her I, confidence. Yes. Like. I mean, look how, look how she's sitting up. <laughs> yeah. And that becomes, you know, parents, that is a direct result of the support of a supportive parent. That's right. A parent who gets in there, right, Dr. Matt? Right. Talk a little bit That's about right. it. So a parent who gets in there, supports their child, you can see the self-confidence. These are some of the soft skills that job markets are looking for, the eye contact, the please, the thank you, mm -hmm. the smile, making sure you have that good customer service, <laughs> making sure you have that good eye-to-eye -eye contact, yeah. and those kinds of things. So those are the things that jobs look for. As a matter of fact, Mr. Thomas talked about dedication, and so we can see how dedicated you are to your child doing well, right. and she knows what the expectations are right so that's so that's a good thing that's yeah. a good thing and, 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 and so so Jamisha mm -hmm. what advice would you give parents to be active in your kids life mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. one that's the main thing to be active and then be a positive role model Great. you know show them the positive stuff behind life and you know let them know they can become whatever they trying to become mm -hmm. it's always possible and one of the things, and one of the areas that we're working with our children on mm -hmm. is how to disagree civilly. Yeah. Right, right, you know, right, absolutely. You don't have to be disrespectful because you disagree with someone. Right. Talk to me how you're working with your daughter on that. Um, I always tell her, you know, a reaction is not always needed in a situation. Learn to just walk away, be the bigger person. Mm -hmm. And so she does it, you know, mm -hmm. with a lot. Yeah. And then especially like her and her sister, they fight. All the time, you know how siblings are. Big, big sister, big, little sister, little sister. Little sister. Little sister. Little sister. <laughs> they fight all the time. Sibling I just try to, you know, show her like even with her, you know, sometimes you just gotta be the bigger person and walk away. Sometimes. Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. And and do you listen? Yes, I listen. <laughs> so no choice, right? Yeah, no, no. Yes. Yeah. Now tell us a little bit about your grades and being with Mr. Eustace and being just in Scotland, Negley. 
What about my grades? My grades are actually good. Um, last year I was on principal list. Good job. And I made all A's the whole, straight year. Straight. The whole year. Yes. This year A's and B's. Good. All right. Um. Now just keep going. What you like What's your favorite subject? Oh, my favorite subject. Yes, I like math. You like math. math. <laughs> Why do you like math? Because it's fun. <laughs> it is fun. It's like when you come to a store and you want to have five dollars and a candy bar is three dollars and nineteen cents. <laughs> you can subtract three dollars. Three dollars and nineteen cents. Cent uh -huh. From five dollars. That's and right. You can see how much money you'll have left. That's mm -hmm. right. And it's that's just, just fun. it's just fun. <laughs> I mean that's 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 economics. Yeah, that's teaching yeah. a budget too. That's right. teaching budget. Yeah. That's financial literacy. Mm -hmm. Where did you, you you got all that from, Scotty Nick? Yes. Oh my <laughs> so you Mr. Houston should be proud. <laughs> I mean that just shows you, parents, how our children are growing every single day. Every single day, she said, I'm going to come in the food line with $5, and if I spend $3.19, I know I have some change to do a little thing, a couple of things, right? That's Am right. I right? Yes. That's exactly right. And that is empowering. That is empowering. How does it make you feel knowing you can do that? It makes me feel proud of myself mm -hmm. and my mother for teaching me these things. Oh, great. <laughs> oh. great. Isn't that awesome, Dr. Battle? Yes, it is. Now, yes, Dr. Battle, is. our goals is to, you know, our goals are to, you know, promote students to be successful members That's so that right. they can be workforce ready That's and right. really make a big bang in, 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 in Halifax County Schools, not just here, but also in the world. That's How right. is all of this aligned to, to our goal, Dr. Battle? So when you look at um, our student today, little Miss Smith, yeah. you're looking at a student who is very proud who's ready and getting eager to enter into the workforce. When you look at the skills that we're building on in school, we're looking at that financial literacy. And so she's able to take a budget and she can start from A and go all the way to Z. Yeah, and so she understands the parameters that she's operating in that comes under the literacy piece. So in this particular instance, it was math literacy. And so she was able to decode that budget so she would know how much money she had left over for other things. And so. You know, job markets, we're looking for that. We're looking for those soft skills that students have, and so we're making that connection. And we are so proud of you. Yes. But we're also proud of you. You keep it up. J Squared. You keep going on. Keep it going. Give me some time. Give me five. All right. You heard it. Scholar Neck is on the rise, y'all. That's right. Which helps benefit all of Halifax County. Get your sweet tea out. Come on out here to Food Line. We are having a ball. Sweet tea sweet with tea. Dr. C. This is the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities, ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center where we teach clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. See what fun things we have to offer at the Center for Energy Education. Get on top of it before they do. About every 30 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes about five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchor.gov. Today I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. 
I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? You don't know Operation Wonder Park is a go! There's nothing more powerful than imagination. But don't just imagine. Use STEM to change the world. Who's with me? If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Tradition, leadership, community. Serving over 3,000 student athletes hailing from historically black colleges and universities, we are the CIAA. Established in 1912, the first African American collegiate conference in the U.S., the third highest ranked NCAA basketball tournament in the nation. It's more than a game. Each year we raise over $1.5 million to support our athletes and impact our community. That's the CIAA tradition. Come live the legacy. Get your sweet tea out, toasting this segment of Sweet Tea with Dr. C. C. And you know I'm here with our great students over here at Scotland Neck Leadership mm. Academy. Yes, absolutely. And we have two. I'm introduced to two, Dr. Okay, Madden. we have Jemiah Smith. Yes. And we have Jarkavi Young Clark. Yes, ma'am. Both students at Scotland Neck Elementary Leadership Academy. Yes, yes. <laughs> and what grade are they in? What grade Bill. are you in? Fifth grade? Yes, ma'am. And what grade are you in? I'm in fifth grade. Okay, Two. Both now, do y'all know each other? Yes. Okay, are y'all friends? Do you, did you meet in school? Do you live in the same neighborhood? We, we, we met in school. We're both friends. We're friends. Okay. We met in school. I forgot what year it was. It was a long year. Oh, <laughs> long ago. But we had we had re reunited with each other back in fourth grade, mm -hmm. and we've been friends ever since. Isn't that Good something? Job. That's Isn't funny. that something? And that's one of the goal. You know, that's 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 a strength of Halifax County that's School, right. is that 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 you can have long term relationships. Mm -hmm. That's one of the powers of being you know growing up in a rural area. You know, you have these relationships that can foster for an entire lifetime. Am I right, Dr. That's Bowden? Right. That's right. Am I right? Because that's what community is. Mm -hmm. That's what the community is. It starts young and it continues through every phase of our life. So, Jarkavian, Jarkavian, tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a fifth grader. You play sports? No, sir, but I'm trying to go there. I'm trying oh. to play basketball. You're trying okay. to play basketball? All right. Yes, sir. So have, you, have, you, have you picked up a ball yet? Yes. Huh? Do you know what a ball? You know what it looks like? Yes. Huh? Why did you? Why are you choosing basketball? Because, like, when I watch basketball and I look up to Stephen Curry, he one of the best basketball players. Okay. So that made me want to play basketball. Okay. All right. Well, that's good. That, that's that's very good. So you watch him on TV? Yes. Because he's from. He he went to school at Davidson, so that's North Carolina. You know, so I can see why you like him. Now, what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Ma oh, math. We have Another two math. math scholars here <laughs> coming out of Scotland Neck. That's a double whammy. Why do you like math so much? Because math is much easier. And plus, when my teacher teaches decimals, it makes it more easier. Like, decimals, you can, you can, like she said, you can subtract, subtract. Five, subtract three, it'll give you two. So you'll have basically two dollars left in some change. That's right. That's fine. That's that, that's financial literacy. And you're learning that. Who's your math teacher? Her name is Miss Cummins. Miss Cummins? Cummins. Who's your math teacher? Miss Cummins Gray. Miss Cummins? All right. All right. Okay. Are both of you in the same math class? No. Okay. So you go there at a different time. Yes. Okay. Switch. So you like math. So tell me a little bit about what you want to be when you grow up. Oh, well, I want to be multiple things. Okay, okay. okay. I want to be a dancer, All right. a model, and a volleyball player. Oh, oh. wow. Okay. Dance now, why volleyball? Volleyball is just fun. And when I go to my dad's house, we always play volleyball. It's just a fun game, and I take it really seriously. So, yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah. And and Jarkavian? I want to be a lot of things. I want to be in the military. Oh, good. I want to be a truck driver because of my dad. That's right. And I want to be an NBA player. That's right. A kind of a little bit of football player. And I want to be in a juvie. I want to work at a juvie like my mother. Mm -hmm. And really, that's it. That's right. Okay. He said, that's it, y'all. <laughs> well, he, he has dreams he and has aspirations. He has dreams. He has that's dreams right. and aspirations. And that I is the, you know, Dr. Battle, that's, our children should be, they Anything should say. they want to be. That's right. That's right. I mean, the, sky's the, the sky limit. is the limit. Yes. And that is exactly what we're here to do in Halifax County Schools is to open up an unlimited supply of opportunities, right? That's right. Opportunities, opportunities. after opportunity, after, after opportunity. We don't have to just focus on one thing. That's we focus on a multitude of things because as they grow in knowledge and understanding, what happens, Dr. Battle? As they grow in knowledge and understanding, they become more marketable. We expound their, their resources yeah. and they network go out make good friends like the two of you are you take those things out into the world and you can bring them right back to your community that's right that's yeah. right now tell us a little bit about your favorite teacher oh tell us a little bit i want you to tell us a little bit about your favorite teacher oh, no. yes that's confusing no, that's my favorite teacher mm -hmm. mm, i like all my teachers okay i'm not gonna say a name she knows Wait, I just I, I like all my teachers. Okay. Well, why why do you like all your teachers? Because what makes you like them all? Because my teachers they're fun and do you move in class? Yeah, I do. Tell me tell me how y'all move in class. So it's like I go to math class first. We stay there for about like an hour oh, and maybe. Half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then we like. Then my class go to reading class, his class that come from reading class go to math class, and we stay there, but we don't stay there for a whole while. We go to lunch, and then we switch back. I have science with Ms. Cummings. You have science with Ms. Phillips. So. All right, well, Jack Haven, tell us about your favorite teachers. Well, when I went to fourth grade, I really love Ms. McGrath more, but I, I can still kind of do, but I actually love Ms. Cummings and Ms. Phillips too, so okay. I don't know, say no names. I, I love all my teachers equally. And that's what we're trying to tell you, parents. We want right. you to love all your teachers. That's right. Not just one. I mean, come on now. You're supposed to love them all, aren't they? That's Dr. Right. We spend a lot of time recruiting teachers, right? Recruiting and retaining high quality teachers, and it is you can see it right through our students that we have high quality teachers in the classroom and they really care about their students. And so it's making it so difficult for the student to have a favorite teacher, but they know that they have a teacher in the classroom that cares for them and prepares a lesson on a day-to-day -day basis to help them to become that productive citizen. So that's, that's exactly thing. right. So as we close up yes. this section, what would you like to say to all the kids out there in Scotland Neck land? This is your opportunity. What would you like to tell them? This is something I want to tell all the kids that's in school. Work hard. Work hard and learn and strive for five. There you go, John Cavian. Wrap it up, John Cavian. Your turn. I want to say to the kids, work hard, strive for five are always, and make sure y'all being good in school because I was struggling. But I'm coming up, and, I'm, right. and I need y'all to keep going and going till you get all the way high to a five. All right, Whoa! that incremental growth. That's what I'm talking about. Proud oh, mama, my goodness, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Proud yes. mama over here. Hey, mama, you doing all right? That's the that's a good thing about being alive. alive. And we got a little baby right there. <laughs> that's the right. He's about one years old, two years old. We got we a dress with his name effects. on it. You coming that's to see right. Mr. Eustace too? That's Don't right. Don't you know that he come? We just love all the enthusiasm here in Halifax County Schools. I mean, that's why we have so many shout outs. That's that right. are just so many shout outs that are here. And I just want to just talk to y'all a little bit about all about it, of, of the things that's happening around. 
first we're going to start over at inboard right. with our SGA officers. You know our President Kimani Henry, Vice President Dream Lynch, Secretary Desire Williams, Treasurer Santia Whitaker, and our Parliamentarian Heaven Evan Lynch. Lynch. Yes. Also, big shout out to our November Scholar of the Month, Octavian Arrington, and employee Frederica Higgs. All now right. we're going to move over at Enfield because as our two Scotland Next scholars said, they love what's happening in our schools, but it's happening all over Halifax County. And so they're over feeding at, to Enfield. And they're feeding. That's, That's right. right, because they're going to end up at Enfield Middle. Middle. That's so let's, right. little, let's, let, let's talk about what's happening over at Enfield. Tell us about Dr. Battle. Okay, so over at Enfield, we have teacher Hannah Bays. She has received the North Carolina Science Travel Grant to take the students to experience the North Carolina Science Museum. And the school also received the uh, coding grant for parents and students in terms of engagement. We also have Alexis Watson and Destiny Bandy, who have also shown leadership by working with the staff on projects. And Danielle Castro is showing growth and working hard to reach her goals. Way to go, Panthers. And then shout out to the following over at Everett. All right, other Everett. side of the county. We're going over there because we have That's so right. much going on. We're everywhere. Over at Everett, the Everett Tigers for having perfect attendance for the past two weeks. Do y'all have good attendance in school? Yeah. Do you go to school every day? Yeah. Well, at Everett, we have some kids going to school every day, too. Makia Crawford, All right. Corbin Moody, Celia Richardson, and Keon Taylor. And listen to this, shout out to kindergarten student, Jemiah Ryland for increasing his iStation score by 28 points. Go out He station. showed the most growth for October over at Everett. Way to go, Jem Jeremiah. All right, and talking about the Eagles of Pittman, they're taking part in the Student Government Association as well. So a shout out to the 2019-20 officers where we have President Chastity Daniels, Vice President Dietrich Austin, Secretary Lamaya Nicholson, Treasurer Imaria Thomas, Historian Marquise Harvey, and Parliamentarian Angel Bullock. And I am so super duper, super duper, super duper proud right. of Junior Anaya Nicholson, who attends Southeast. What's Southeast. the name of your high school? Southeast. 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 Yeah. Southeast. <laughs> that's right, Southeast. And that's over there where Anaya Nicholson, she's over there at Southeast just doing a spectacular job. She has the opportunity to join the National Honor Society. This organization includes students who have a true thirst for challenge and accomplishments. Do you see what's available now at Halifax County? The National Honors Society. Yes. These students Dr. are leaders who strive to make a positive impact in their lives and to the community. Yes, and I just want to inform the community that on November 13th at 5.30 p.m. Breaking we news. will be at Enfield Middle. <laughs> it will be the Southeast community. We will join forces at Enfield Middle just to talk about community issues. And I so need everyone parent, out there, right? Please be there. Yes, at absolutely. Scotland Neck. I need you to join us over at Enfield Middle again. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what date is that? On November 13th at 5.30. At 5.30. Come on down here and talk with me. I just want to sit down with all of our parents and our community members to talk about how we can make Halifax County Schools a much more vibrant learning environment for all yes. of our students. And yes. I need the help of everybody. I need everyone to show up, parents, students, business sponsors, the police, everybody needs to come out to <laughs> Enfield That's and talk right. about how we can make this a thriving opportunity for our two children. That's right. So that they can thrive and graduate and get into the honor society like Anaya because we are so proud of you. I want everyone to remember, but I do have some more breaking news. That's why you need to listen to Sweet Tea. Sweet Tea. Because we just got some breaking news about what's happening on in December over here at Scotland Neck. Ms. Dr. Battle, what's going on? Okay, so Dr. Cunningham, on December 3rd at 5 p.m., we will be here at Food Line where we will have our next PTA. And so we want all parents to please join us here where we are hosting today Food Line right here in Scotland Neck. So we want to give a big shout out to Principal Eustace and Mr. Thomas from, Sc from Food Line. And to our students, we thank you all so much. Scotland Neck is on fire, y'all. We're throwing up. Mr. <laughs> Eustace is doing a blazing job. He's just, like I said, he's going to have, I mean, how innovative is that? That's very To innovative. have a PTA meeting 
at the food at line. At the food line. It's Scotland there. That's innovation. <laughs> and it's happening here at That's Halifax right. County Schools. We thank you very much. Get your sweet tea out. Give me a toast one more time. Woo! Yeah. Have a great right. day. Visit the Center for Energy Education, where children and adults can learn about clean energy in a fun environment. The center has indoor, outdoor classrooms and offers a wide variety of activities, ranging from gardening 101 to line dance. Come visit the center where we teach clean energy, clean earth, and healthy living. See what fun things we have to offer at the Center for Energy Education. Get on top of it before they do. About every 30 minutes, tipped furniture or a falling TV sends an injured child to the emergency room. Preventing tip-over incidents is easy, inexpensive, and only takes about five minutes. Learn how to secure your furniture and TVs to protect children at anchor.gov. Today, I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Your girls have been with you through every moment of your life. And they're still with you right now. But how well do you know them? Wonder Park is a go! There's nothing more powerful than imagination. But don't just imagine. Use STEM to change the world. Who's with me? It's gonna hurt tomorrow. If she can STEM, so can you. Find out more at She Can STEM. Tradition, leadership, community. Serving over 3,000 student athletes hailing from historically black colleges and universities, we are the CIAA. Established in 1912, the first African American collegiate conference in the U.S., the third highest ranked NCAA basketball tournament in the nation. It's more than a game. Each year, we raise over $1.5 million to support our athletes and impact our community. That's the CIAA tradition. Come live the legacy. <laughs> 